Hi everybody, welcome to FoodTube. I'm Tim Anderson. I'm a chef and I love Japanese cooking. I lived in Japan for two years and now I've got a restaurant and a cookbook, both called Nanban. Now I'm gonna cook you a dish today from the city where I live, it's Kita Kyushu in the southwest of Japan. It's called Yaki Udon. It's essentially a stir-fried noodle dish like yakisoba with lots of crunchy veg, lots of texture, lots of color, great flavorful Japanese ingredients, bit of bacon in there, really, really satisfying. This recipe will make enough for about three servings or two if you're really hungry and you might get really hungry once you start to smell this. Let's get to it. Now, this is a wok cooked dish using very, very high heat. So you wanna make sure that all your ingredients are prepped up and ready to go before you start cooking because once that heats on and the ingredients are in the pan, it's gonna go very, very fast. First of all, we get our wok on a high heat and we add some neutral vegetable oil. Rapeseed oil will do, sunflower oil is fine. Anything that's got a high smoke point and a neutral flavor. That's about a tablespoon and a half, just enough to coat the wok. So the reason we wanna get this oil so hot before we start adding anything is because we want the vegetables to fry rather than steam. The vegetables are mostly water, so as soon as they get hot, that water will start to come out. We wanna get that water out of the pan as fast as possible so we get a little color, and yeah, that's hot enough. So, first of all, streaky bacon, that's about four rashers chopped up in there. Once we got some of the fat out, we'll go straight in with an onion, sliced up nice and thinly, give the pan a shake, and you can see that bacon's starting to brown already. We don't want anything to go soft or mushy. This is all about crunch. We're gonna add some carrot, sliced into thin planks. Stir that through. So there's a lot of different vegetables going in here, but they all bring something to it. The onions, obviously sweetness and a, a bit of sharpness. The carrots, pure sweetness. The onions and the carrots, you wanna give about three, four minutes in the pan before you add the next batch. Oh yeah, check that out. Now we're gonna go in with some cabbage some bean sprouts, and some julienne garlic, one clove. All right, get in there, stir it up. Wow. We wanna cook this for a good four or five minutes until this cabbage and the bean sprouts start to lose some of their volume. So the volume has gone down by about a third. It's starting to shrink, so it's time to move on to the next step. And that's to add some mushrooms. It's just ordinary button mushrooms. Really any kind of mushroom will do. Shiitake, oyster, they're all good. But button mushrooms are underrated. They work really well in a stir fry and all kinds of things. They're gonna soak up some of the seasoning. Our mushrooms are just starting to go a little bit translucent, but now we're gonna add our seasonings. So, for some rich, nutty flavor, we're going in with some toasted sesame seed oil, about a tablespoon. For salt, we're gonna add some soy sauce about a tablespoon and a half. And do use Japanese soy sauce, it'll make a difference in the flavor. Some rice vinegar, about a half a tablespoon, for acidity, obviously. It's all about balance here. And then we're gonna add some mirin, which is a sweet cooking sake. About a tablespoon, like that. And this just adds sweetness. Dashi powder is a very important Japanese soup stock. It's got a smoked fish and seaweed flavor. Just a pinch of that. And then we've got some white pepper. Same amount of that. So this is looking nice and saucy now. Starting to get those rich, nutty aromas. And now it's time to add the noodles. The twist is it uses udon noodles, which are thick, chewy wheat noodles, which I think are a lot more satisfying than the typical egg noodles you get in traditional yakisoba. It comes fresh and cooked, and any East Asian supermarket will have it. If you can't get to an Asian supermarket, you can usually buy these dried in big supermarkets. If you buy the dried udon, just cook them according to the package instructions before putting them in with the stir fry. So this is just about done. I'm going to now kill the heat and stir everything through. So good. There it is. Now all we have to do is plate up and garnish. Now, to garnish, we've got three things. Some toasted white sesame seeds. Next, beni shoga, which just means red ginger. This is pickled ginger, similar to what you get at sushi restaurants, but not quite as sweet, a little bit sharper, and a little bit saltier. And finally, crispy fried shallots. There we go, yaki udon. Stir fried thick wheat noodles, loads of veg, bit of bacon, pickled ginger, lots of great flavors from those Japanese seasonings. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet, and then it's got a bit of sharpness. It's got a lot of crunch still. 
If you take the bacon out and the dashi powder, it'd be an amazing vegetarian dish. So that's yaki udon. I hope you give it a try. It's really easy and really good. And by the way, I'm not just a Japanese food geek, I'm also a big beer geek. So click here to see my strawberry beer mojito video over on DrinksTube. And also, don't forget to click subscribe. There's great videos, so many great videos, and more each week. Thanks for watching. If you like this recipe and you're curious about more Japanese recipes, don't forget to check out my cookbook, Nanban Japanese Soul Food, by clicking the link. Onegaishimasu!